Our series on tiaras from various countries continues and for today our gaze is fixed on majestic Egypt. This land is renowned for its exquisite jewellery, incorporating magnificent diamonds, magical emeralds and the unsurpassed craftsmanship of oriental jewellers. It is believed that it was Egyptian tiaras, of which very few remain, that were the progenitors of modern jewelled crowns. Originally these fabulous jewellery adorned the luxurious hairstyles not of European ladies, but of the wives of Egyptian rulers. Rumor has it that all these riches, which the aristocracy of Egypt was proud of, have long been taken out and sold to neighboring rich countries. Local billionaires sparing no expense replenish their collections with the best jewelry in the world. However, single tiaras are still in the museums of Alexandria and some are kept in the treasury and private collections but most of the unique jewellery masterpieces of Egyptian masters have long since disappeared without a trace. Beautiful, of course, is the diamond tiara of the Egyptian princess Shivakya, the wife of King Fuad I. This noble platinum and many clear diamonds were crafted into the shape of large shining curls. The centerpiece, a flower with a huge drop-shaped diamond and two smaller crystals, was mesmerized by the play of the sun's glare. The white pearls scattered throughout the jeweled tiara not only added to its majesty but also gave it a feminine charm. King Fuad decided to please his wife and in 1896 ordered a platinum tiara to be made not just somewhere but in France itself. Many experts believe that this jewel was made by jewelers from the house of Cartier. The emphasized handwriting of the master and the similarity of this open tiara with other masterpieces of the famous jeweler are noticeable at first glance. In this jewel, 2,000 diamonds, a central briolette and accents of pearls create an impression of sophistication and luxury. The ruler's wife, Queen Farida, was considered a true beauty among Egyptian girls and ladies. One of her notable jewellery was a gorgeous floral tiara, giving the young woman an unfading freshness and youthfulness. The crown of noble platinum and a multitude of diamonds resembled a spring bouquet of delicate flowers, as if dew falling on the open petals glistened on the leaves and petals of a blossoming branch. This tiara was complemented by flowering earrings and a luxurious bracelet with two diamond buds. Farida had another favorite tiara, a fabulous firebird made of expensive crystals, a real wedding crown. Combined with a lace veil, the elegant crown looked sensual and pure at the same time. The jewelers created the tail and plumage of the precious bird from transparent diamonds complementing the image of a magical bird with flowering branches. This crown was also transformable. To the lower base of the tiara, the queen could attach a huge drop, a pendant made of a precious stone, emerald. Together with chandelier earrings and a tiered diamond necklace, the firebird made up an amazing jewelry parure. Another magnificent piece of transformer jewelry, the diamond rings tiara was an intertwining of half rings encrusted with clear diamonds that contrasted with the queen's black curls. This tiara could also be worn as a necklace, drawing attention to a woman's delicate neck. Farida could afford far from always Muslim modesty in her outfits. She chose ceremonial outfits with open shoulders and deep necklines, reminiscent of the fashionable European wardrobe. Her outfits, complete with dainty gloves, rather resembled the style of European princesses. Today's parade of rare oriental jewellery by a magnificent necklace of diamonds and rubies created by Jacques Timé for Princess Ashraf Pahlavi. This work of jewellery art, created at the Harry Winston Jewellery Factory in the USA, embodies luxury and sophistication. Platinum and white gold studded with round diamonds, natural and synthetic rubies made up the exquisite combination for Princess Ashraf's tiara. This precious artefact, along with many other Egyptian jewellery masterpieces, was sold at the Sotheby's Geneva auction in 2000. However, not all the treasures were sold at the auction. Some of them, such as Queen Nazli Sabri's tiara, simply disappeared. The jewelry belonging to Egyptian rulers has always been considered among the most magnificent, but of course could not bring happiness to its wearers. Diamond masterpieces such as the tiara and necklace of Queen Nazli Sabri, the second wife of Fuad I, are still on the minds of avid collectors. However, their location and fate remain a mystery to this day. After all, such beauty could not just disappear without a trace. When Fuad I decided to marry a second time, he chose as his wife the attractive Nazli Sabri, who was, in fact, destined for him. 
their relationship reflected the typical tyrant and victim pattern. As a single woman, Nasli experienced many things, having borne four children to the ruler. She often felt like a bird in a golden cage, enduring beatings from an abusive husband. Over time, as Nasli felt empowered and free, she decided it was time to influence the fate of the country. In her quest for influence, she also arranged the marriage of one of her daughters to the future king of Iran. In preparation for the grand wedding ceremony, our heroine decided that she must look worthy of her status as queen mother. To this end, she ordered a luxurious diamond bib necklace from the famous jewelry brand Van Cleef and Arpels. While the first piece of jewelry was meant to adorn her neck and go down to Nasli's exquisite decolletage, the second, a diamond tiara, crowned the Egyptian lady's hairstyle. The two semicircles, the crown and the glittering bib, seemed to be reflections of each other, separated by the smoothness of the water. Despite this, they certainly differed in design. Such jewelry masterpieces should be viewed with a special aesthetic admiration, like the paintings of Leonardo da Vinci. Thus, a magnificent piece of jewelry was completed just in time for his daughter's wedding back in 1939. The sparkling diamonds that made up it weighed 217 carats, and in the center of the crown was majestically placed a large crystal weighing six carats. As soon as the sunlight touched its facets, it flashed and glowed like an unquenchable fire. The precious breastplate seemed to transport all Egyptians back to the distant times of the pharaohs, when rulers were honored as gods and their spouses were considered real goddesses. It is important to note that in the middle of the 20th century, the queen moved to the other side of the world, to California. Why such a radical move? The fact is that she now needed the support and help of her youngest daughter, Fatia, who was caught up in a complex relationship with the Coptic population. Nazli Sabri's son, King Farouk, never approved of such alliances and viewed his mother's support of her sister as an event out of the ordinary. Because of this, he cancelled the royal titles of both women who confessed to disobeying his will. The former ruler converted to Catholicism and never returned to her native land. As time passed, memories of the former grandeur of court life in Egypt were only a thing of the past. At a mature age, the owner of the precious collection was in need of funds, so she decided to put all the treasures up for sale. In 2015, the historic necklace of the former Queen of Egypt appeared at the Sotheby's auction in New York. This famous lot was preliminarily estimated in the amount from $3,600,000 to $4,600,000. As a result, the diamond miracle was purchased by representatives of the French brand, whose masters created this bib necklace. Since then, this masterpiece has been kept in the collection of jewelry heritage of the legendary Van Cleef brand. In the same year when the diamond jewelry was sold, Amina El Demirdash, a representative of the former Egyptian dynasty, great-granddaughter of the unfortunate Queen Nasli, appeared on the cover of the Arabic magazine Vogue. The girl, who grew up without aristocratic privileges, always felt deprived of royal blood, yet her beauty is truly regal. Do you think so? A sparkling Van Cleef and Arpels piece commissioned by the Egyptian royal family on the eve of the wedding of Egyptian Princess Fazia and Crown Prince Mohammed Reza Pahlavi of Iran in 1939 is astonishing in its brilliance and luxury. This tiara is set with 54 pear-shaped diamonds and 530 baguette-cut diamonds, as well as an exquisite necklace and two pairs of earrings to complete the set. The creation of this tiara was a masterpiece of jewelry craftsmanship and the epitome of luxury and sophistication. Its majestic design and brilliant stones make this tiara the perfect addition to any royal's outfit. Every stone, every detail of this jewelry is a testament to the meticulous work of craftsmen striving to create something truly unique and majestic. This tiara is not just a piece of jewelry, it is a symbol of luxury, power and status. To wear it is not only to show off your beauty, but also to emphasize that you belong to the highest strata of society. Impressive and fascinating, the Van Cleef and Arpels Princess Forzia tiara will leave no connoisseur of true jewelry art indifferent. The history of the Van Cleef and Arpels tiara, which belonged to Princess Fausia, is full of grandeur, romance, and tragedy. This jewel not only symbolized the grandeur of the royal family, but also served as an object of admiration and attention for many decades. 
By wearing this tiara during her wedding, Princess Fawzia created her own image of a striking and majestic woman who embodies beauty and elegance. With this tiara, she became an icon of style and sophistication. After Princess Fawzia returned to Egypt, the tiara continued to be an integral part of her image. She continued to wear it at social events, maintaining the brilliance and splendor of this jewelry. Even after the overthrow of the monarchy, the tiara remained with Princess Fawzia, testifying to her true taste and style. More than just a piece of jewelry, the tiara has become part of Egyptian history and culture, a testament to the grandeur and elegance of the royal family. Its amazing destiny and legacy continues to fascinate and inspire people around the world. Did you know about the existence of Egyptian tiaras? Write in the comments which one you like the most.